celebrate the heart of a blessed mother, the immaculate heart of Mary, the mother of the most perfect child in the world, the mother who herself was immaculate and stainless. The feast of the immaculate heart of Mary follows immediately after the solemnity of most sacred heart of Jesus. Love seeks unity. Jesus and Mary, son and mother were deeply united in love. The Immaculate Heart of Mary and the Sacred Heart of Jesus. In their lives, they were one. In their sorrow, they were one. And in their love, they were one. One of the most popular Marian devotion in the Catholic Church today is that of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, often honored alongside the Sacred Heart of Jesus. This devotion has its roots in sacred scripture. For example, in Luke 2.19, but Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. According to the Catholic doctrine, Mary is the Immaculate Conception, that is, in preparation for the incarnation of the second person of the Holy Trinity in her womb. Mary was conceived without the corruption of original sin and was preserved from committing any actual sin throughout the course of her life, through the infinite merits of her son. She was virginal, not only from soul, but also from body, both before and after giving birth to Lot. While the Sacred Heart of Jesus is the source of Christ-burning love for humanity and is largely different for mankind towards Him, the Immaculate Heart of Mary is the source of Our Lady's burning love for God and, is and her desire to bring souls to her Son. Beginning in the Middle Ages, this devotion to Our Lady's purity of heart began to flower, culminating in St. John Eudes actively promoting this devotion in 17th century alongside the Sacred Heart of Jesus. After the apparitions of Our Lady of Fatima, the Feast of the Immaculate Heart of Mary was instituted for the Universal Church by Pope Pius XII in 1944. When we ponder over the life of our Blessed Mother, we realize that there were many events and occasions which our Blessed Mother was unable to grasp and understand. Angel's traumatic visit, the invitation to be the Mother of God, the coming of the three kings, the travel to Egypt on a cold night, the visit of shepherds, the prophecy of Simon, public ministry of Jesus, the loss of her beloved child at the age of 12 the horrific crucifixion and death of a tender child. Most of these events were probably not understood by Mother Mary, and yet at every moment a word pressed upon her precious lips, Fiat Lord, let thy will be done. Faith is the realization of what we hoped for and evidence of things not seen. Mother Mary, by her immense trust and acceptance of God, even when things were not fully understood and even when events would generate confusion, doubts, uncertainty, etc. The Immaculate Heart of Mary today invites us to have our mind and heart focus on God, like the Immaculate Mother. Let us also seek to proclaim, Fiat Lord, let thy will be done, Lord, in all moments and situations of our lives. Let us also strive to be Immaculate and Holy. May we consecrate our lives to the maternal care of our blessed mother and find consolation and comfort in her immaculate heart.